Hello Jaleel, it's Jenny from Maldonize. Our usual host is unavailable today, so I'll be stepping in. It's quite the time for AI to be replacing human jobs, isn't it? On a lighter note, I have an intriguing and fun question for you. What's your take on companies that, when encountering challenges with software systems like HubSpot or Salesforce, opt to purchase an entirely new system rather than tackling the underlying problems? So today you want another topic, which is a real-life use case uh, happening every day. Let me give you another interesting thing, which is, to some extent, it, it, it sounds fun when you, first time, you know, really go through that statement which the other client is giving. So there's a client who got the you know most premium edition of HubSpot as a CRM and also for their marketing automation. They have been using it for two years. Now, after so many, you know, pump, pumpy rides and everything, they have decided, okay, now let's buy another HubSpot with no data, like a from scratch, rebuild it because they assume that it is going to solve the problem. So now the funny part is the assumption is just based on the person who is the business user. I mean, what does the business user has to do with the system architecture or the system building? So that as per, per se, the business user is the main stakeholder. Fine. But the business user need to find an expert, really, really a good expert, explain the issue. What did you guys do in last two years, which made this HubSpot instance stink? And now you want another one. Fine, go for it. You can buy another one. You can put your, all the data in there, but you, you just, you just need to, you know, think thoroughly. So the way we have seen is that Companies does that with Salesforce. Company does that with uh, uh, all of the service clouds, with, with you know, system like ServiceNow. And the companies, those are not able to do that switch. They are in Oracle, they are in SAP or other enterprise level technologies. Problem is that even if your system is really in a bad shape, you need to re-architect it. Just like the way you you always have heard about the renovation of houses and the building that everything so consider that as a serious thing about your uh, you know about your system which you're using so it, it's just like the place where you would like to spend your working hours your team and so they can get engaged they can get productive so again take a step back find an expert to build an architecture to assess the current dis process do that is discovery and please put some kind of documentation in place so where you can visualize what is happening in your system. And then sit again and see, do you need to buy another you know, piece of land and you need to build all of this from scratch? Or you can simply just you know, make some uh, shifting to the walls and you know, make some sizes bigger and, and, and smaller. Some adjustment, it, it is going to be okay. Wherever we have seen, actually at least I can say, I have seen wherever this theory fails is that when the architecture is not done rightly and they do another rebuild, it stinks. I hope this, this is fun for you. Thank you.